Hi guys, Marcus here. I'm down at Malulabar Music and today I'm going to show you this incredible Gibson Custom Shop 1959 reissue Les Paul VOS. So here she is. We just received this one uh, yesterday and it is a stunner. So the 1959 reissue, we've had many of these before and they're always a popular item. Uh, each one can be a little bit unique, a little bit different and this one is no exception. It looks great. So we've got a beautiful, beautiful flamed maple top on this one. As you can see, very different from the last one that we had, uh, which had a really wide flame. This has got a really nice, narrow, uh, tight flame on it. I think it looks great. So let's get into some of the features of the 59 reissue. Starting up here at the headstock, we've got our Keystone Cluzon style tuners. Uh, in a beautiful sort of aged nickel. So these are only just maybe slightly aged. They actually look really great. And I love the look of the Keystone clues on tuners. Look fantastic. Of course, we've got everything done the right way from uh, even the color that they've done here is a, we've got the, uh, the red dye. And you can see the way that the colors just come through. It just looks beautifully aged, natural. Now, one thing about the uh the the way that they color these and paint these guitars um you can tell the these reissues and also the originals by the the red dye the red aniline dye that they use uh to show that they actually use a dye on in in the timber and on the uh in the lacquer rather than just painting it and lacquer running over the top so that dye actually will bleed slightly into the binding so you can see on the the acrylic binding there if you're getting close, you can see that just a little bit of bleed. Now that is actually not any kind of mistake. That is something to show that they are accurately reproducing and using the same techniques that they did in the 50s and the 60s with coloring these instruments. Uh, obviously that wine red color is, uh, is, is iconic for Gibson. Yes, the SGs, but also all their Les Paul back and sides guitars from say 58 and, and through that period. So yeah, that, that red dye just gets a little bit of bleeding on there. And that's something that, uh, well, you collectors uh, would know, you're looking for that to know that they've done things the right way. And of course, it's something you can see in this and we know that it's done the right way. So we've got our nylon nut. And moving on to the neck, we've got, of course, our East Indian Rosewood fingerboard. We've got our medium jumbo frets on a 59. And we've got a 59 style uh, neck profile on the back. So 59 being a transition year for the profile of the neck. So that what we, is known as a 60s slim taper profile. 59 is when they started that. So moving a little further down the neck, what you can't see is the 1959 long neck tenon, which actually the neck extends underneath that neck pickup there. Little feature that is, you know, period and correct and accurate to the 1959. Now you're looking at the rest of the body. The back here, what we've got is a solid piece of mahogany. So this is a one piece mahogany back, not a two piece. So there's no pancake here. There's no two pieces set side to side. Period correct for 1959, one solid piece. And of course our top is a beautifully book matched flame maple top. 1959 being the year when they started putting out the, the flame maple tops. 58 when they had some plain maple, when they introduced the cherry burst, 59 was the next year. We've got our beautiful figured maple tops on here. And this is just perfectly book matched and really set off with the washed cherry finish. So beautiful washed heritage cherry. So this is a VOS. So the finish has come up really beautiful, quite stunning. Now, hardware, we've got our nickel hardware on here, of course. So you'll see just a little bit of natural age that happens with nickel, which is on the, uh, the tailpiece, the uh, ABR1 bridge, and of course, on our pickups. Now, the pickups, we've got a pair of unpotted Alnico 59 PAF pickups in here. These are the holy grail of humbuckers. 
fantastic sounding pickups. They are the sound that you expect them to be. And they're just accentuated and, and brought to life, of course, by being paired with this beautiful guitar. Incredible sounding pickups, incredible sounding guitar. Moving on to our controls, we've got a three-way toggle switch here, of course, for your pickup selection, bridge, both together and neck. And we have independent volume and tone controls for each pickup. Now the whole guitar, of course, is finished off in a accurate, not just cellulose lacquer finish throughout. So the guitar is able, it resonates beautifully. It's historically correct to the year. And it's, it's a beautiful guitar. It's everything you would expect a 1959 Gibson Les Paul to be in looks, in feel, and of course, in its tone. Sounds absolutely fantastic. So if you're interested in this guitar or any of the other Gibson custom shots we've got in stock, we've got 58s, 59s, we've got 60s, we've got Gibson custom shot SGs, 335s, we've got acoustics as well. We love talking guitars, we love talking Gibson, we would love to talk to you about this guitar or any of the others and show it to you. You're welcome to come down, have a play, give us a call, chat to us on the phone, have a look on the website, send us an email, we'd love to talk to you. We hope to hear from you really soon. Yeah.